Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Preston from Bull City Reader. This is one of our babies, Lady. She wanted to come in and say hi because I was talking to a camera and she wanted to see who I was talking to. And my other baby's here. This is our other baby, Belle. As you can tell, they're named after Disney characters. So, Belle and Lady, these are our two baby girls. Today's video, as you can tell from the description down below, is going to be a top five. She's back. Uh, today is going to be a top five video. Um, I got this idea from Josh over at uh, Beards and Books. I watch his channel all the time. I make sure I watch his videos as the, the day that they're released. Highly recommend you check them out. Link them down below. He put all of his books that he wanted to read, his TBR, on Goodreads and had Goodreads rank his TBR. I thought that would be a good idea since I have a mixture of indie books and also traditionally published uh, authors. Uh, the way that I rank mine, I just did it by the overall rating. So anyway, these are gonna be the top five books written by indie authors per Goodreads and how their overall rankings. I had two qualifications for indie books. Uh, the first one is the book could not be a book that wasn't book one in a series. So if it was book two, three, or four, even if it was ranked high, I'm not including it in this list because you have to read other books to... Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, you've got to read other books to get to it. So um, it has to be book one in a series, and it also needs to have 10 reviews. Uh, anything under 10 reviews I didn't put on this list because it could just be like, you know, a significant other and some families that ranked it. So... I just set the limit at 10. So let's just let's just hop right on into it. Sweetheart, I have to put you down in order to do this. So I'll be doing this list from five to one, cause you know, that's just how we do lists. We leave you in anticipation for what number one is. Number five. Ghost Code by Sarah Negavetich. Let's see if I can get this book in there. So Ghost Code by Sarah Negavetich has 26 reviews on Goodreads and it's averaging 4.46 stars out of 5, which is pretty good. Um, so Ghost Code is about our, our main character whose name is Viv. Viv is 18 years old and she has cancer and she's kind of tired. She's, she hates seeing her family worry about her and she knows the debt that's just racking up in order to treat her, so she decides she wants to go out on her own terms. Her own terms are she signs up for a research program, and in this research program, she's put in a coma for 30 days. She's a lab rat for those 30 days, but after those 30 days, they'll unplug her, she'll go away peacefully, and all, the, all of her medical debt will be wiped out, um, and her parents and family won't have to worry about the medical debt that's accumulated while she's had cancer. But after 30 days, she wakes up and learns what it really means to live. Uh, this book came out in 2017, I believe. I got this book, um, I, I met the author at a book con before she wrote this book. She just had a trilogy out. I've read the first book in that trilogy and it's really good. She's such a fun person to meet and hang around. She's so fun. So I did interview her about this book on my podcast, I'll throw the little thingy up here, whatever side it comes on. If you want to go watch it, um, her interview is around, I think, like 37 minutes long. Learn more about her as an author. Learn about how she got the idea for this book. How the, the, the main character is Hispanic, I believe, and she's not. So was it hard for her to write from a perspective that she's not from a culture that she's not from? Uh, we dive into that a little bit, I believe, if I'm remembering her interview right. So anyway, guys, number five, Ghost Code by Sarah Negavetich. Book number four. So book number four, according to my Goodreads, according to Goodreads, is a book called 122 Rules by Deke Rue. Let's see if I can get this whole thing in here. 122 Rules by Deke Rue has 50 ratings as an and is averaging 4.52 stars on Goodreads. 122 Rules follows Sam Bradford, and he is a former Marine uh, turned government assassin. He lives by what's called uh, the 122 Rules of Psychology. 
Uh, he has killed innocents before because that's what he is supposed to do. On his latest assignment that he has, uh, his latest assignment is a woman named Monica Sable. And right when he has her in his crosshairs, his conscience kicks in. She's escaped. She escapes, starts going across the country, and the mob is after her. So he has to decide, does he want to break his rules and try to save her or go after her with the mob? Uh, that's what this book is about. He is working on a follow-up, I believe. So yeah, uh, I also did interview him and his wife on the podcast. Again, I'll throw a little thingy up here and a link down in the description if you want to check it out. It is a longer podcast because we talk about this book a little bit, another one of his books, and also a trilogy that his wife has out. So it is a longer podcast episode. I believe it's about an hour and a half. Uh, but again, 122 Rules by Deke Rue. Number four on my Goodreads TBR. Number three. So number three, according to Goodreads, is actually, it's an interesting premise. This is actually an, an, an anthology. So what makes Prep for Doom so unique is there are 20 short stories in this, in this, not in this book, anthology. And all 22 stories are all related into one storyline. I think the synopsis is the best thing for me to tell you about the book. The other ones, I summarized the synopsis. Uh, but since there's so many short stories in it, I want to make sure I get to all, all the little details that they mention um, in the synopsis. So what begins as a seemingly innocent traffic accident soon spirals into a global pandemic. There is a virus that is released upon New York's unsuspecting population, which brings bloody suffering within hours, death within a day, and spreads worldwide within a month. An online community called Prep for Doom has risen to the top of a secret doomsday preparation movement. Some have written them off as crazy, while others couldn't be more serious about the safety the preppers could provide in a global disaster. But when the virus strikes, their preparation may not be enough to save them. Again, this is 20 authors. All of their stories are linked together, telling the story of this global disaster that happens, that is released and goes worldwide. Um, a lot of the authors, if I'm remembering correct, are part of a Facebook group called Band of Dystopian Authors and Fans. It's a real awesome Facebook group. I'll put a link down in the description to it. I highly recommend you check them out if you're into post-apocalyptic, dystopian kind of stories. They have a ton of authors and fans on there that can always recommend great books to you. Um, all the authors that are in this book, if I'm remembering correct, are part of that group. So I highly recommend you check out the book. Highly recommend you check out the group. Number three on my Goodreads list, Prep for Doom by Band of Dystopian at the top, like I said, the, the Facebook group. Number two. So book number two, according to Goodreads on my TBR by indie authors, is a book called Fight the Rooster by Nick Cole. Let me get that book in here so you get a look at that cover. Fight the Rooster has 50 reviews rating 4.56 stars out of 5. Uh, Nick Cole has had an interesting um, career. He has one or two books that were picked up by publishers. I believe he's gotten the rights back to him now, and he's a full, he's fully an independent author uh, or indie author, putting his books out on his own. He is writing a series with another indie author right now called Galaxy's Edge. It's like galaxiesedge.com or Star Wars, not Star Wars.com. It's kind of like what they want Star Wars to be. But anyway, so Fight the Rooster. Uh, there is a book that has been put out by an author, which is all the craze, and it's supposed to be turned into a movie. Uh, the movie director that's supposed to produce the movie has come to the realization that his movies are slowly killing him. And so after a therapy session, he decides that he needs to kind of like sabotage the, the movie that he's directing and he's going to do what the uh, according to the synopsis he intends to shoot the equivalent of Brad Pitt reading the telephone book except without the Brad Pitt part and there's a bunch of people that don't want to let him do that so there's a bunch of shenanigans that occur uh, it says that there's like a race scene that you know would make Steve McQueen proud so it's it's supposed to be a good 
kind of a funny read, action read. It sounds very entertaining. I know several people that have read it and loved it. And like I said, it's got 50 reviews, averaging 4.56 stars out of 5. So anyway, Fight the Rooster by Nick Cole. Number one. So guys, number one in this list. Um, it's had an interesting life uh, to get to where it's at now. It's the first book in, I believe, a trilogy. I believe the third book just came out. It is The White Dragon Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the series. It's by Stefan Bowles. White Dragon Genesis has 55 reviews on Goodreads, averaging 4.71 stars. It's not a very long read, as you can tell. Um, it is only 179 pages. It's 179 pages. It's getting good reviews. Like I said, the third book just came out. I believe that's the last book. I believe it's only going to be a trilogy. Um, I have interviewed Stefan Bowles on the podcast. Again, I'll throw somewhere one of these sides, a link to it. Link down in the description if you want to check out his podcast. I don't believe we talk about this book. Do we talk about this book? I'm going to look it up. So, no, we don't talk about this book in the podcast. Um, when I interviewed him, it was when I first started the podcast. He was one of my very first podcasts, so it's a little rough if you want to go listen to it. <laughs> um, but anyway, what is this book about? Let me just read you the synopsis. It's only a paragraph. No point in me summarizing a paragraph. The White Dragon Genesis is the story of the very beginning of an apocalyptic event as seen through the eyes of an 18-year-old girl during the 36 hours of terror that turn Casey Burns' life upside down and strip her of everything clear to her, something inside her awakens. It is a gift and curse alike for it can destroy her or turn her into the most powerful weapon against the evil that has reached the shores of our world. So that's the synopsis of it. Maybe I should read it. It's so short. And I have book two also. And it, it got just as high ratings, actually. It ranked right above this. But since it was book two, I didn't do it. I did book one because it was right below it. Um, but book two was rated a little bit higher. So I'll put a link to this book down in the description if you want to check it out. Stefan Bowles, The White Dragon Genesis. I've read some of his other books and stories, and they're, they're great. So I know that this story is going to be great. Well, guys, that's it for this video. This is the, I guess you can say, part one of part four, because I'm going to do four parts. Let me know what you want to see next. Do you want to see the bottom five indie authors, or would you rather me do my top five uh, books by published authors next? Let me know down in the comments below which one you're more interested in. I'll do that video next. Um, I've, I need to figure out a book to read. I haven't read in a couple days. Um, and one thing I just want to mention before I close, when I was looking at my, my Goodreads list uh, at the rankings, I was surprised actually at how many books were part of series that weren't book one, where book two, three, and four were getting higher rankings than the beginning of the series. I just I thought that was kind of interesting. I'd be curious to know uh, if you have a, a good reads. Is your rankings the same? Do you have other non-book ones in the series that are higher ranked than book ones? I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video the way I started it with Little Lady here. So until next time, guys, keep reading. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Maybe she'll be with me. We'll see. But anyway, guys, keep reading. And we will see you or I'll see you in the next video. Bye.